everyone too. How are you today? Our lesson today is very it's about a clock. Lesson twenty nine. Lesson twenty nine tell us that a clock has a long hand and a short hand. Look here and the long hand at twelve and the short hand on eight. So what is the time here? The short hand tells the hour and the long hand tells the minutes. So it's eight o'clock. When the long hand be at twelve, it's read as o'clock. So what is the time here? It's eight o'clock. How many hours per day? The day has twenty-four hours. The day has how many hours? 24. Okay. The hour has how many minutes? 60 minutes. So each hour has 60 minutes. Okay. Half an hour has 30 minutes. If the hour has 60 minutes, so the half of an hour has 30 minutes. Okay, primary two, do you get it? Excellent. Okay, look here at this uh, clock. Here we have the long hand at 12. So the time read as o'clock. We say the number of time, which is two. And uh, after this, we say it's o'clock. It's exactly two. So it's two o'clock. The short hand tell the time, which is two, and the long hand tell us that uh, this is exactly two. Next one. Here we have the short hand on two and the long hand on six. So what is the time here? Look at the long hand, it's after half an hour, from 12 to 6, it's half of an hour. So, what is the time here? When the long hand at 6, the time read as half o'clock, half o'clock. Say after me, primary 2, half o'clock. When we tell that the time is half when the long hand at six, like here. What is the time here? The short hand on two, so it's two, but it's half past two. Half past two. Why half past two? Because the long hand on the half of the hour, on number six. Okay, with me. The time. From 12 at night till 11.59 at morning, cold a.m. It's a new note for you. Again, when I tell that the time uh, is a.m. from 12 at night up to 11.59 at morning, the time here is cold a.m. Okay. The remaining of the day from 12 at noon up to 11.59 at night, the time is called b.m. Like the alarm in your mobile phones. Do you read it? It's, uh, for example, 7 a.m., uh, 8 a.m., uh, 2 p.m. What is the time of a.m. and p.m.? A.m. is the time from 12 at uh, night up to 11.59 at morning or at uh, noon. Okay, but the time from 12 at noon up to 11.59 at night called p.m. Answer together activity 2 in your book. Right, a.m. or p.m. Breakfast time. It's 7 a.m. or p.m. primary 2. It's 7 a.m. Excellent, because it's 
from 12 at night up to 11.59 at morning. Okay, the next uh, one. Going to school at, uh, at 8 o'clock. So, it's 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. Also a.m. Excellent. Dinner time at 9 o'clock. So, 9 here is p.m. or a.m. It's p.m. Excellent. Because it's from uh, 12 at noon up to 11.59 at night. It's between this time from 12 at noon uh, up to 11.59 at night. Okay, sleeping time, 10 o'clock. 10 here will be a.m. or p.m. It's in the same time between 12 at noon and 11.59 at night. So it's p.m. Excellent, primary two. The next. Tell the time. We want here to tell the time. It's half past 11. The first one is half past 11. Because the long hand on 6 and the short hand on 11. Almost 11. Between 11 and 12 called 11. So, the next one. Let's find the time together. Here's a short hand on what? On 3. Almost 3. Okay, and the long hand on six. So it's half past what? Half past six or half past three? It's half past three. We tell the time on on short hand. It's half past three. The next time, focus with me, primary two. Here we tell the time of what? Long hand or short hand? Short hand. But it's half past one, the short hand on almost one. Between one and two means one. Okay, the next one is half past what? When the long hand on six, we tell that it's half past. Half past what? Seven or eight? It's half past seven. Excellent. And the next one, look here. Don't be confused. The long hand and the short hand on six. So it's half past six. The next one, the short hand on nine and the long hand on six. So it's half past nine. Excellent. The next one, the short hand on two and the long hand on six, so it's half past two. Excellent. And here, the short hand on twelve. If it's between twelve and one, we choose the smallest one, which is twelve. So it's half past twelve because the long hand on six. So if the long hand on six, we choose half past. Okay, the next one. It's half past what? Half past four. Excellent, primary two. Activity two. Here we want to tell the time in digital form. We know that half past means 30 minutes. The half of an hour is 30 minutes. So, when the long hand on 6, if it's half past, the minutes will be 30. Let's answer the first one to uh, understand. Here's the short hand on 10, so it's half past 10. Half past 10 means 10 and 30 minutes. Again, in the next one. Here, what is the time? Half past what? Half past one or twelve? No, it's half past twelve. We agreed that we choose the smallest number if the short hand between two numbers. 
So it's half past 12. Half past 12 means what? Means 12 and 30 minutes. 12 and 30 minutes. Because look here, half past equal 30. Half past equals 30 minutes. Again in the next one. What is the time here? Half past four. So in the digital form, it's four and 30 minutes. Excellent, primary two. Do you understand? Excellent. Okay, what is the next? It's half past six. Don't be confused. Here we choose the smallest number before seven. So it's half past six, which means six and 30 minutes. So the time here is half past 11. Half past 11 means 11 and 30 minutes. I hope you did understand the lesson today. Listen it more than one time to get the idea. Okay, primary two? Let's answer. Next question. Write three activities you can do at 7 a.m. What can you do at 7 a.m.? Waking up, uh, eating your breakfast, washing your face. Let's see. Wake up. Yes. And wash my face. I can wash my face at 7 a.m. And eat my breakfast. Here is three activities I do every day at 7 a.m. Here is your homework, primary two. Do it and send it to me on Edmodo or WhatsApp. Uh, thank you for listening. And understand the lesson today. Goodbye. See you next session, my love.